to Israel, for example, does not abide at all by international law. The entire occupation is illegal. It's a violation in particular of the Fourth Geneva Convention. By the rules of the Fourth Geneva Convention, you're not allowed to build settlements, you're not allowed to build roads, you're not allowed to expropriate land, you're not allowed to deport people, you're not allowed to, to restrict their freedom of movement, you're not allowed to uh, harm their economy, you're not allowed to make them unemployed and impoverished. But everything that Israel does in the occupied territories, U.S. taxpayers are paying for. The U.S. gives the financing, it gives the military support. Israel. Uh, receives as much foreign economic assistance as all the countries combined in the world. Combined in the world. In March 2003, the U.S. government approved $10 billion in aid for Israel. At the same time, it withheld a $3.5 billion grant to upgrade the training of first responders, those who would be first to respond to a terrorist attack. Spent domestically, that $10 billion could buy health care coverage for over 4 million children without proper coverage or pay for one and a half million American children to attend Head Start child development programs to prepare them for school, or simply help states offset the costs of one of the worst fiscal crises in half a century. Where were you on September 11th? Um, you know, uh, I was home. Um, and I, the only reason I wasn't where I was every morning, uh, subsequent to the 26th day of July, um, I was, my, my mornings were spent uh, usually at a breakfast meeting at Windows an 8 o'clock breakfast meeting, windows at the top of it, right? and then going down to visit with my tenants, my new tenants uh, at the trade center, getting to know them, understanding their problems and so forth, ascertaining how, I could, how we could service their needs better, um, and uh, which is a first, first, one of the first things you do when you acquire a property. You begin to meet your, pe meet your tenants and start talking with them. Um, and so my mornings were spent at the trade center, and then by noon I was back uptown and uh, uh, and so that particular morning uh, because I have light colored hair and fair skin and uh, I'm a newity to the dermatologist uh, my wife God bless her had made an appointment for me uh, at the doctor and I remember dressing to go to the doctor I finally saying to my wife I said sweetheart I've got so much to do downtown I gotta cancel this I've gotta go downtown and she said, you're not going to cancel this appointment. You're going to the dermatologist. And you're only having been married now for, to the same woman for 
46 years, you you get the sense of determination on occasion, their voices, and I said, okay, okay, yes, dear, I'll go. <laughs> and then, just minutes later, uh, received a telephone call to turn on a television set and witnessed this horrendous circumstance, uh, the first plane hitting, and then the second plane hitting, of course, with the second hit, uh, it became obvious that this was terrorism.